Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to do dodging and burning in Lightroom. So dodging and burning, basically it's a technique that comes from filming and what would happen is you would boost the highlights and darken the shadows to add not just contrast to the whole image, but specific areas. Now it's used in beauty, it's used in fashion, it's used loads in advertisement. Uh, Jill Greenberg is very famous for it, as long as loads of other people. So we're gonna learn how to do it in Lightroom. Now I want to be really specific here. I would do this in Photoshop, always, because you need layers, you can add blurs, Gaussian blurs, all sorts of layer masks and some really important things. However, I've had a load of questions from people on how to do it in Lightroom. So I've done some figuring it out, I've learned how to do it, and I've really created my own kind of technique for this. Uh, this actually goes out for John Page. He was the first person to ask for this. So if you're watching, this one's for you. Please like it, you know? Um, Anyway, so let's get into Lightroom and actually have a look to see what we're going to, it's the morning, so I'm having a coffee. Um, so let's jump into Lightroom and let's have a look. So we're gonna be using this image today to create some dodging and burning. So you can see it's a great clean image. I shot it of my friend Alex a while ago, but you can see there's already the highlights, there's already shadows. It was, um, we use beauty lighting, a beauty dish, so it's pretty well done, but it's a little, light and plain, so we want to boost those uh, highlights and things. So essentially, what do you do in, in for dodging and burning? So just, I'm just going to quickly show you here. So essentially, what you want to do in dodging and burning, you've got the highlights here, highlights here, highlights here, and all of these highlighted areas like so, okay, and the jawline, okay, uh, just there, and then what you also have is all of the shadows. So you got the shadows here, you have shadows here, here, and then you basically round here, shadows down here. All of these areas, you want to start adding the shadows to these areas. So you want to highlight it. But what you can't do, so let's just delete this, is just add contrast. Because if we were to come in here and add contrast, let's have a quick look. That's what you get, okay? That's not dodging and burning. You've got to be really specific. So in Lightroom, this is how I've figured out a way to do it. It's not perfect, but it is great. So you come in here, you're using the brush tool up here. You go to effect and you double click to reset it all. Now we're going to do shadows first. So shadows or darks, what I like to do is take the shadows all the way down to zero and blacks down just a little bit. Now what you're gonna to want to use, now this is what's important, is with Lightroom, they're not layers that you can then add like blurs to and masks to, okay? What you actually have to be able to do is, you, is kind of a one-stop shop. You can add things and take it away, but you want to be using a very feathered brush, okay? And you want your flow to be down at about 30 here. So you can see here with the brush, you've got lots of lots of fade and essentially you want to go over the areas okay but you want to build it up okay with brush strokes and changing the size of your brush okay if you leave it at one brush size it's not going to work okay so for example in the middle you're going to want to start small and then get a little wider and this is essentially how we're creating that fade that you would do in Photoshop. So we're just gonna work on all of those shadowed areas that I spoke about before. Now you might think, well, you can't really see very much happening. That's kind of how dodging and burning works. You don't want to see it dramatically happen. You have to build it up, okay? So you can see here, if I look at the before and after already, we've already added quite a lot of this, okay? Now if there's an area that you really want to add something, you just boost up your flow. So I'm just going to do that because I want to get through this quickly so that you guys aren't getting bored watching me do this. Okay, so I've added in lots of shadows there. Don't forget the shadows in things like the hair. Okay, let me just add in shadows down here, down the side of the nose, and what this always inside these eye sockets. That's a great place to really lift. And then just up here in the forehead, we're gonna add a hot spot shortly. 
for the lights, but the shadows right now, this is great. I'm gonna actually boost up a little bit more for the hair because hair doesn't matter quite as much for your highlights and your shadows uh, because the, the details really just, you know, it, it, it's not gonna matter quite as much. But you do want to get it in there and not miss it. People miss these areas. Get inside the ears, okay? All of these little areas that you may have missed, you want to make sure that you're going to get them all. Okay, so that, I'm not going to go too far. I just want to give you the idea of it. Okay, and then a new brush, and this time, shadows back to zero, highlights all the way up, blacks back to zero, and the whites up just a little bit, okay? Let's hit this to zero. And then you're going to do the same thing with the highlights, okay? So you see all the light areas around here, top of the eye over here, hot spot on the forehead, nice on the chin. Um, you want to follow the contours here where we added the darks, okay? Under the chin, there's this really strong light. I think we had a reflector that was going on down there. Oh, I just added that in a bit too much. I'm going to come out. There we go. Big strip down the side here that brings out the muscle in the neck. For women, that makes them look really elegant. We're going to add in the lines here, down here. So we can't add any blur in afterwards, so that's why we have to be a little bit careful. And then the highlights in the hair. Let's just pull this in. Okay, so let's look at the before and the after. Okay, too extreme. So on the lights again, what we can do is now we can play around with this and bring it back. I would say bring it back to around 30, and on the shadows, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing and the blacks lift them. Now, if that's too far, that's not a problem. Duplicate them. So right click, hit duplicate, and it's gonna literally double that effect. Same with the white, so you want, might want to duplicate that, but on the duplicate, okay, I, w I don't want to boost any of the actual whites, I only want to boost the highlights, okay? So that's starting to look great. Now if you've overdone it, okay, like I think the white here is overdone. So let's come, uh, oops, let's come to this one, okay, I'm gonna get rid of the first one, I'm gonna come this one, and I'm gonna go edit this one, I'm gonna to go to a raise, okay? Flow, bring it down, and all I'm gonna do is erase out this area. And then if I hit O, I can see the mask, how I'm erasing it. Okay, let's erase a little bit faster. There you go, kind of got rid of it there. Looks really great, I like it. So let's look at the before and the after. Okay, so that's what I like, but also you can add one more Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna reset it all. And this, this is where you can really just affect areas as a whole, is you're just gonna use clarity. Now the clarity, okay, what you're gonna do is both the darks and the light areas. So it can be a larger brush and you just paint over it like so. Boost the clarity of these areas, okay? So let's have a quick look like this, and then the hair, I'm really gonna boost that, okay? And then just, above the eyes, where the, that is, there and there. And now, now if we have a look at it as an, as an image, let's look at the before. So I'm gonna boost the clarity here as well, okay? And I've pulled down the saturation. But watch this, before and after. I think I've gone too far, but that was for demonstration purposes. Zoom in, you can see it's actually done a really nice job of not ruining the image. It's just used what was already there, okay? The highlights and the shadows. So that's how you can really do dodging and burning in Lightroom. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Loads more videos coming up. Any questions, pop them below, and if you want me to do a tutorial on something, write it in the comments box below, or go to photosincolor.com, and there you can write to me as well. Or actually the Facebook page. Go to the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash photosincolor. There's so many things to do, just you know what to do, go follow me on everything, but not me, photosincolor. Theme tune.